Hey everybody, welcome to Let's Play Euphoria, the saga. This is a replay. And uh, it's a replay for a couple of reasons. Number one, um, well, I didn't do very good the first time. Hopefully we'll do better this time. And number two, this was a Europe and Japan game only. And I played it on an emulator that didn't handle the European version very well. Frame rate issues, because, you know, PAL and NTSC. The Japanese version plays fine, but you can't understand the story. <clears throat> so, found a better emulator. Here's our story. His name is Bop Louie. He is in big trouble. <laughs> he was living in a peaceful land called Euphoria. One day, his friends and he found a gigantic crater near the place where they lived. Can you believe it? They were all very curious to see what was down inside. But they came too close and slipped. Oh no, Bop Louie, are you okay? Now he's lost his strange world and he doesn't know where his friends are. He's alone and afraid. <clears throat> Free on Leon. Oh, very well. <clears throat> Let's play the game. Yeah. Now, I don't know if you guys notice, but I can tell that the audio is different. It's not great, still. And uh, we've got that horrible nastiness on the right-hand side of the screen, which I will clean up. So you guys don't have to see that. Plus, I uh, kind of sort of know what I'm doing now. It's a very good game by the nice people at Sunsoft. You might know them from such great games as uh, Blaster Master, Fester's Quest, Journey to Silius. I had a heck of a time getting this to play right, too. It's a little skippy. Oh, it's Freon! Where's your horn? I don't want to fight you, Freon! You're orange! Oh, look at them skills. Freon Leon got skills. Don't throw the head at me, Freon Leon! Yeah, I saw what you were doing. Sneaky. Oh, he hit me. It's not as easy as it looks. You don't move very well. Leon, you can swim on the water and walk through snow and ice. I do remember. Thanks for restoring my memory. I don't know what happened. Bye bye, Freon Leon. Ooh, a little moonwalk action there. Now, the way this game works is you do this with that face all the time. Um, we get to pick different people. Hooray! And faces again. <laughs> Freon Leon is not as fast as Bob Louie. Um, Freon Leon, though, as as Bob Louie mentioned, he's really good in snow and water and stuff. Those birds are jerks. We want this. You have found the crystal. Mm-hmm. That gives us a password. Hooray! 
Now that we have free on Leon, we can get around this place a heck of a lot easier. Now, a couple things about this game. It was the first in what became a fairly popular series in Japan land called Hebereki, Hirabeki, something like that. Oh no! Ah. Oh no! Uh, no two games, however, appear to be the same. Because um, the game that came out after this for the Super Nintendo was like a puzzle bobble kind of thing. Frog! Oh my god, frog. You ruin everything. Get over here so I can kill you. Major slowdown there. It's that platform's tongue thing. Uh oh. Just want to get a little health before we move on. Um, so, yep. Yeah. A lot of games in the series. Uh, this is the only one of its kind. Um, the story in the Japanese version is very different, I recall. And um, yeah, plays kind of kind of like one of them their uh, Metroid games. You have found the map. Map. Look at that. Don't care. Um, when playing this game, if you're going to be playing this game, if you want to kill something by jumping on it, make sure you are holding the down button. If you do not, you will not stomp. You will just fall. The little floaty head thing there makes a better weapon than stomps for the most part. Uh, you can only have one of those on screen at a time. That's health. Those little blue things. Well, the little circles. Now, Bop Louie. Get in the water. He's horrible in water, though, and it's actually a little scary. Freon Leon, much better, but you can't go underwater. So, like I said, this kind of has a Metroid thing going on where... You know, you need a different power-up to get to different places. But the power-up comes in the form of characters. There, that's where we are. Isn't that nice? Ah. Getting hurt sucks, because your character stops for a minute. Going this way. So slow, free on Leon. If there is no ground underneath a track, you can't walk on it. Keep that in mind. And I did do a test recording of this a while ago. Uh, which is how I know the other emulator was not doing the job. Uh, which is also why I know exactly where I'm going right now. That's a one way. You can't get back up that way. <gasps> Who are you, ghost man? <laughs> okay, I won't move. No, you came closer. That's cheating. Throw the head shades. Look at him. Floating. Using strategery on me. Oh, he's a tricky one. He's a sly devil, that shades. Is he floaty because he's a ghost or because he's got the Mario hat? What do you think? 
Yeah, come on. Throw it! Oh, that was... That was dirty pool, Shades. Oh, it's mine! Get away! <laughs> eh. This also takes a little longer than I think it should. It's a good game. It's got issues. Your name is Shades. You can jump very high. Rikes, you just heard of the temple. There's a gate. Could go home. <gasps> Bye, ghost man. That. Yeah. He's also kind of slow. But he does jump better. Now. You can't go that way. There's a door down there. We'll get to that later. Get back this way. No! Go this way. We're gonna take a little trip back up this way. Pull down! Aw, oh, it's always a bummer when it happens to health. I think this is the whole point of these frog statues. Just to grind and get health. Aw, oh, he hit me. Go away, frog. Come on. Come on. I'd like to get up to 30 health. So one more. Ooh, take that. Yoink. Come on, little spit ladder thing. Alright, this jump sucks. Bop Louie can jump just high enough to get hurt. Shades can jump it, but it's still tricky to do it without getting hurt. And you you control kind of weird. So, uh, we want that. We gotta have shades to get that. Yeah! Hold down the B button until a herd appears and press it again to attack. Okay. Got it. Oh, but it went away. Yep. Okay. That's that shades his secret weapon. He hits his eyes out of his own face. Check it out. One more time. Ready? Ready? Incredible. And, uh, you know, I think that's a good stopping point for now. We'll, uh, see how it looks and figure it out from there. See you next time, folks.